This is the complete guide on how to create and use a MetaMask wallet. Hope you enjoy. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. If you like this kind of content and you want more tutorials, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe right now. Thank you. Let's get started. The first step, we're going to head over to metamask.io and download the metamask wallet to our browser. You can download this on your computer. You can also do this on an iOS device, your iPhone or an Android. And on the computer, you can download it to Chrome, Firefox, and also the Brave browser. The Brave browser is the browser I use and the one I'll use for this video. But right now at this moment, I'm going to download the MetaMask wallet to the Chrome browser. So install MetaMask for Chrome. It's going to bring us to the Chrome web store, to the extensions, and we are going to add it to Chrome. And then it's going to bring us to this screen. Welcome to MetaMask. Let's get started. So we can either start by importing our seed phrase. This is if we had another MetaMask wallet and we went to restore it, or we can create a brand new wallet. And that's what we're doing in this video. So we're going to create a wallet. It's going to go over a few things. You can read this. Once you agree, click I agree, and you're going to create a password. So let's create a password. Okay, so there's our password. And very important, this was our password. And this is different than the seed phrase that I'm about to show you. The password is what is used to get into your wallet once it's already on your browser. But if you ever want to have a new browser, your laptop breaks, or you want to restore your crypto to a new wallet, you're going to need the backup seed phrase. This is the ultimate password. This seed phrase, you do not want to store online. You want to write this down on paper, keep it offline. So over here, we're going to click here to reveal our secret words. So over here, we are gonna have our seed phrases and they have to be in order. So I'm going to enter those. Of course, I'm not gonna show you what they are, but I'll, uh, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you the first one. Once we confirm that, we'll take it to the next step and congratulations, we now have a MetaMask wallet. Now I'm in the Brave browser. I left Chrome and we can start interacting with our MetaMask wallet. So. Remember what I told you about the seed phrase, that is your ultimate password. If I created a wallet in Chrome and now I wanna use this wallet in Brave, I open the MetaMask extension and then I go down to the bottom and I do import using account seed phrase. And then it's going to let us enter our seed phrase. Remember the seed phrase is your ultimate password. So over here, we are going to enter the seed phrase and you can you enter those 12 words with a space in between. So these aren't the words, but I'm just showing you, showing you an example, laptop, car, tree, and so on. And once you enter that, then you enter your wallet password. And just like that, our wallet that was on Chrome is now on Brave. But I already have a wallet logged into MetaMask. So I'm going to open this wallet this is an extension for a wallet I already have on, on this computer and I'm going to enter my password and unlock the wallet. So here I am inside of my MetaMask wallet. Now that I'm in my wallet, we need to fund it. We need to send cryptocurrency to our wallet. So the most simple way is just to send Ethereum or an Ethereum based token that you already own. Maybe you have it on Coinbase or Gemini or a ledger and you can directly send it to your wallet. So if you go here on buy, you can directly deposit Ethereum and you can view account. Right here is your address and right here is your QR code. Maybe if you're sending from a phone, just hover over that and send Ethereum and it will now be available in your MetaMask wallet. It's also right here at the top. If you just click there, copy to clipboard, you can use that and send cryptocurrency to yourself. But if you don't have any cryptocurrency to send, you can buy Ethereum or Ethereum based tokens and send them directly to your wallet, directly to your wallet. You can do it through wire or coin switch. If we click over here, continue to wire, it will take you to this website 
and it will automatically include our Ethereum address and we say that we want Ethereum, you can type in an amount, maybe we want $50 worth of Ethereum, it will show us the price and you'll go through these payments. You can pay with a card and it will enter your MetaMask wallet. See, I got some Ethereum in there, I got some CryptoKitties, some Tether, an NFT. All right, let's take it to the next step and look how we actually interact with these decentralized applications. Real quick, right before we get to interacting with the decentralized applications, I forgot to mention that you send any Ethereum-based token to the same address. So whether it's Ethereum or BAT or Tether, anything based on Ethereum, you're going to send it to the same address. So one address for all your Ethereum-based tokens. Also, do not send that the VeChain token to your Ethereum wallet, it will no longer be supported on MetaMask wallet. And I mention this because I know there are a few people that have done this and someone actually messaged me about this on how you can recover VET that was sent to a MetaMask wallet. You can do it, it is difficult. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna follow those directions. Now let's interact with decentralized applications. So we'll use CryptoKitties. I'm going to go to the CryptoKitties website and on the upper right hand corner, click start. And over here, we're gonna go through a few different steps. We're gonna give it permission to connect to CryptoKitties. And now I'm giving it permission, connecting. Now I can start interacting with this application. If we look at our wallet, or I'm gonna look at mine specifically, I can look at the history of the wallets that I'm already connected to. So right over here, I'm gonna to go to connected sites. And if we scroll down, we can see all the websites I'm connected to. Right here, it shows that I'm already connected to Rarible. So if we go to rarible.com and we connect wallet, it's automatically going to connect our account because we are already connected in the past. But if we disconnect from Rarible and then sign in again, it will be the similar process we had when signing into CryptoKitties. So something you wanna take a look at. You might be connected to a lot of these sites and you're giving them permission to your wallet. So maybe just look over those connected sites and remove sites or permissions from sites that you're no longer using. So let me disconnect from Rarible right now and show you what it looks like if we sign in brand new. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect from Rarible over here. Disconnect from this account. So let's see if we log into Rarible again, how it will look. So this time I'm going to connect the wallet, choose the MetaMask wallet, but this time since we're starting over, I would say from scratch, I need to give it permission to access my wallet. So next, connect. And now we're connected to Rarible. When you get more comfortable with MetaMask and DeFi, it's likely you will start to want new tokens. So in the past, what someone had to do was go to a decentralized exchange such as Uniswap and exchange their Ethereum, maybe they won some DAI. But now with the new upgrade to MetaMask, you can do swaps right within your wallet. So if I have Ethereum and I won some DAI, if I go to my MetaMask wallet, right here is the swap icon. So Ethereum, you know, 0 0.2 Ethereum, and I won some DAI. So I can do this right within the MetaMask wallet. So MetaMask wallet is making this very easy for people, integrating it all into one platform. So maybe you sent a new cryptocurrency to your wallet, but you don't see it, don't worry. I know that I have Tether in my wallet, but right now I don't see it here. So what do I do? Scroll down, add token, let's search for Tether. Click next. And there, I have Tether in my wallet. So now I'm also going to show you what happens when you send a NFT, a non-fungible token to your wallet, and you don't see it there. In this case, you're going to add it, except you're going to add it as a custom token. Let me show you. I own this F1 Delta Time NFT boots. The problem is it's not showing up in my wallet. I open my MetaMask wallet, I scroll down, where are these boots? 
I'm going to show you how to add these boots to the wallet by adding a custom token. So the first way we can do it is you can go to OpenSea, connect your wallet, which has your F1 Delta Time boots, click on it, and you can look at the info on this page. As I scroll down, I'll see right over here on chain info is the token contract address. So I'm going to copy that, go to my MetaMask wallet, going to scroll down, add a token, add a custom token, paste the contract address, there is the token symbol, going to hit next, add tokens, and there it is, there is my F1 Delta Time Boot. So this is one way to do it. I'm gonna show you the other way to do it. So let's remove this from the wallet, hide F1 Delta Time Boot, and go back to my activity. I'm gonna find the date, the transaction for when I actually got these boots. So I'm looking through, where is it, where is it? Right over here it is. So as I open this, I can go view it on Etherscan. So I'm going to Etherscan to view this transaction. So here I am on Etherscan. I'm going to scroll down to tokens transferred, click over here on the address that it was sent to, and it's going to bring me to this page. And right over here on the right side is the token contract address. I'm gonna copy that, head over back to my MetaMask wallet, Scroll down, add a token, add a custom token, and there it is. There is my F1 Delta Time Boot. And this is the same process for other NFTs. Maybe you have something from Rarible or you have something from CryptoKitties and it's not showing up. You'll be able to do this by adding a custom token. Maybe one of the most important things about MetaMask or DeFi in general is every time you make a transaction, whether you buy something or sell something or swap a token, there will be a gas fee. If I head over to Rarible and I wanna buy this NFT, on top of the price, there's gonna be a gas fee. Even if I head over to my MetaMask wallet or I go to Uniswap and I wanna swap some tokens, there will be a gas fee. Let me show you an example. If I wanna swap this Ethereum, for DAI, get my quotes. It will find me the best quote. It goes through many different decentralized exchanges. So definitely a good tool if you're gonna to swap tokens to do it within MetaMask. And then over here, you're gonna see that it says estimated network fee. So on top of the transaction that I'm doing, there is a gas fee of right now $6.72. So be aware of these gas fees and also know that every time you make a transaction on Ethereum and with your MetaMask wallet, you likely won't make, it, make that transaction by accident because it will always ask you to click the next step and to confirm. I hope that this video helped. If you have any further questions, please put them down below in the comments. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.